On September 11th, 2001, I was in fourth grade at college grade school. It seemed like a normal day, but at about 8.30 in the morning, the first twin tower was hit by a hijacked plane, I was told by my teacher. We turned on the TV and watched the news feed on the terrorist attack. Shortly after we turned it on, we were told it was a series of coordinated suicide attacks by Al-Qaeda upon the United States on September 11th. On that morning, 19 Al-Qaeda terrorists hijacked four commercial passenger jet airliners. The hijackers intentionally crashed two of the airliners into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City, killing everyone on board and many other Both towers collapsed within two hours, destroying nearby buildings and damaging others. The hijackers crashed a third airliner into the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia, just outside Washington, D.C. The fourth plane crashed into a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. After some of its passengers and flight crew attempted to retake control of the plane, which the hijackers had redirected toward Washington, D.C., to target either the Capitol building or the White House. There were no survivors from any of the flights. After an almost 10-year manhunt for bin Laden, on May 1, 2011, U.S. President Barack Obama announced that American forces had killed bin Laden while he was hiding in Pakistan.